and we're back with another episode of Let's Play PC Building Simulator. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and let's get started with what we got to do here. I like this case. Okay, um, this is Financial June. Is this, who is this? This is the person that wants plastic lime cables. Okay, and he's having some other issues. Um, first things first, let's get the right cabling. Plastic lime. And then let's clean this thing out. Well, actually, let's try to turn it on. So it doesn't even turn on, so I don't know what he means by frozen, freezing, whatever. But uh, no matter what configuration is going on with this guy, it's better that we just disconnect every single thing from the power supply as well as from the motherboard because if it's just the motherboard or the power supply, but we still got to put the right cabling in. So let's check the power supply first. It is the power supply. Okay, so we need a Silverstone 1000. So let's look at here at the sh our shop list here. Ooh, doo, doo. So we'll pick up one of these. That's 205. Now there's still a hundred or 90 bucks left worth of stuff to to maybe buy. So let's take a look at everything in here. And make sure all of this is still good. Chances are he's probably this rig is probably fine. But we'll take out every little thing because it's one it's less that we have to repair per se. Or clean out rather. <laughs> and then we can figure out if anything else needs to be replaced. I see the motherboard. RAM, the two hard drives. It looks like it's all there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and clean this guy out. Since we still have... And we'll put everything back in except for the obvious power supply that we need to re replace. But it's a lot less to clean when, you know... All you got to do is this. Because these come back in automatically clean. It's a nice little feature of these uh, rigs when you think about it. Ooh, shoot. Did I need to put this in first? I did. But we could put it down there. Should be the cabling that this fool wants as well. Okay, so that's all pretty much back together. We technically don't even need that open anymore, but we need the power supply. And then we need to diagnose this fool. No CPU. Now you, sir, have a different set of cabling that needs to be done. So what we really could do... Just disconnect all of this stuff. The wiring and the cabling. And then this guy's cabling has to be... It's lime and white, I think, is what it was. Yeah. So now we can reconnect everything. like this case. Oh, wait. There's one blue one. Okay. So we need to get a new processor. Which is the Ryzen 5 2600. Boom. There could be something else wrong with this, though. But everything powered up okay, so I'm assuming it's just a processor. Oh, you know what? The heat sink. 
No, it's in there. All right. So two a fix. Oh, another diagnostics. Well, sorry to keep bothering you, but I need your help again. We had a man come into the library earlier today and sit down at a computer. You know the sort. Long hair and all dressed in black. A troublemaker, naturally. I was keeping an eye on him. Well, I looked away for just a moment, then I heard a big smash. He had kicked the computer over. Can you believe it? Rest assured that he won't be stepping foot in this library again. Not that we'll be around much longer. Received a letter this morning to say we'll be closed by the end of the month. So that's that, then. That is sad. The whole library, library is becoming defunct. I do think that they could save them by making them computer kind of ca public computer cafes or something. Not literally that to that degree, but there could be something that could be reused with those with libraries. I, I'm sure we could figure something out. And then technically books are still around, you know, I mean, there's still a use for books. I just think that the type of information they need to start carrying has to change, too. Anyway, I'm, let's move on. Sorry about that. Not that we... Okay, uh, anyway, I shouldn't go on about it. Can't be helped. Can you take a look at the computer? I think that man broke something inside when he kicked it. Uh, Liz Barnett, head librarian. Ha ha Tonka, the public library. Okay, we accept. And then there's another fix request, which we don't really know what it is. Can you help make some repairs? I'm not sure what's wrong. Can you have a look? Whenever I turn on my, my PC on, it trips the circuit breakers in my house. So can you get it done in 12 days? Is it okay that it's dusty? I heard you guys use parts on this. Sounds like a power supply problem. Jonathan Lewis, J. Lewis Nutrition. We accept, but there's only one build. I'm not going to complain about that. And it's not even a hard build necessarily either. Um, so, let's take a look here. Um, the, the budget is $17.50. It has to run uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, the higher version. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Had delicious dinner. Let's take a look. He doesn't care about brands or anything, so not a hard mission, not a hard request. Um, will it run? Pro minimum. So twelve gigs of RAM is already gonna run you. Okay. So, and everything else is kind of lame so it's not this is not not designed this computer is not designed to be amazing um by any stretch of the imagination but it it just needs to be what it needs to be i3 8100 so boom minus 170 we can take the ten dollars for the cooling the motherboard will be this guy here at minus 155. Now, I do worry about the RAM. It needs to be 12 gigs or more. Um, so at 4,000, there isn't any... Oh, yeah, there is 16 gigs. Never mind. Boom. <coughs> it's 3,600 minus 270. Okay, yeah. So, all right, that's works. Uh, storage, 7 gigs. So we can put in... Probably put something really nice in here, so let's do that. Boom. Minus 400. Power supply. Oh, yeah, we're going to go big. But why? You don't need to. I know we don't need to, but we're going to because you get the most wattage for the same price. You know, if there, you know, this game could update itself with, like, reliability. So, like, yeah, the Sheen 1300 is, like, the best power supply for the price. Of all the $100 ones, but the other brands are more reliable. You could put that feature into the game. If they let people mod the game or something, that's that's a mod that they could do. $585 for a graphics card. And then you'd have to redo the whole infrastructure of the game. So, like, the economy. We can put a Vega 56 in there. You know what? We'll do that. And that leaves us with $8 left. Hur <laughs> hur. And it meets everything without even really paying much attention to most of this. This is an old i3. We're putting in the updated i3-8100, so it should be fine. And we'll double check. Where's the i3? What is it? 6100? 6100 is way down here, and I know the 81 is way up here. So, yeah, it's fine. 
Okay, so that's all good to go. This rig will cost. Uh, it costs about. It's just. It's seven. It's seventeen forty-five. So it's just on the button, but it's actually not a bad computer by any means or stretch of the imagination. So at least we only got one build, and we've got repair jobs. So let's un undergo the repair work here, and get a lot of this done. So, goodbye to you. Let's get you put back together. Now, we just want lime. Because we know we need that lime. We know we need that line for this power supply that's going in. Check for viruses. Run 3D Mark. God, it's still loading the first one. That's a slow hard drive. That means it's probably riddled with frickin' porn. The prawn! The prawn! That's why I wanted them both going at about the same time. This one's probably got no prawn. Set the RAM. that in it's gotta be riddled with prawn wow it's just that crappy okay never mind well some of some that hard drive is terrible card since we're here Run this. I thought we were hoping we would get it done before that one finished, but we didn't. Almost, though. But we can remove this. And this should be happy done because we redid all the cabling to this guy. But we'll have to double check. We're going to save before we return these two rigs because they're so particular with what they are actually we'll return one now uh oh one of them's got a cable not plugged in why oh okay we lucked out we don't have to redo it we just have to There we go. We don't have to redo it. It was the mount. All right, this one's done, and wow, that's terrible. But yeah, we'll make a save before we turn these suckers in. See, look at that. Even that for 1750 runs pretty darn good. 
We make PCs, we make PCs. Now that we know that that other one's good. Yes. Did good with the white line cables. You did good there too. And did great there as well. Uh, more 1080 TIs. Um, alpha cool ice and block. These are liquid cooled, I think. So these are going to be even more stronger. And then here's a really big 2080 Aorus Water Force WB11 gig. That's interesting. More liquid cooled. We're going to level upon the morrow, it would seem. We are so close to level 28, it's like killing me. And I left the main computer on. I don't know why, but I did. Uh, 970. There's worse out there. Nice. Mm, pretty good. Meh. Okay, so... We get almost four grand for this guy. 38, 38. 882 for this little dude. We thought we weren't going to get much for that, but shows what I know. All right. Uh, let's see here. Build, build, build. All new builds. Wow. What is this? It's just a case. Okay. And we've got to diagnose the. Oh, dear God. See here. It doesn't boot. But it sounded like from the guy's description it might be the actual power supply this time. If it causes your house to surge, or your house surged the last time you used it, it sounds like a power supply incident. Well, that's interesting. It's not a door. Oh, it is a door like the other one. I just pulled the. Hang on. Problem with this case is nice as it is, it's so bulky. But it looks good. Okay, so um I'm gonna check the power supply first. Gotta take these out to get to the cables. Okay, so it's a ST eighty F. Boom, what's his budget? Because there could be more wrong. There's gotta be something else wrong with this rig. I, I have no reason to believe that it's just the power supply. Let's put one in there. There's got to be something else wrong with this. Well, maybe not. That's a ridiculously large budget for such a basic problem. Let's run antivirus while it's open. And it's got power. We're going to disconnect all this anyway. We'll get this on there while we're at it. And also set the RAM. Do, 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 do. Boop. Let's check for viruses because there might be other issues. It actually does say there's other issues, so it's probably a prawn. No, it's prawn free. There's something else wrong with this. Two hard drives? One hard drive? Hmm. Maybe that's why. Um.
Maybe that. Oh, maybe there wasn't anything wrong with it. Hold on. I installed an inferior power supply. Okay, it's fixed now, so it's just a power supply. Yeah, it, it came up wrong because we did actually install inferior power supply. Okay, so the power supply is all that that needs. We can pretty much close the rest of this back up. And the rest of that's got to stay. Oh, we got to put this back in. Okay, so we've identified the problem with that. What's wrong with you? No RAM. We'll shove a stick of RAM in there if we have one and see if there's anything else. still a problem so it's probably riddled with porn probably was the, the emo kid was looking at porn and then just out of nowhere how dare you not have real breasts and then he just like tips the whole thing over so we need a data 4 gig stick boom that's done alright so now ladies and gentlemen it's time to build so let's take just a brief look and see what we've got here. Uh, a football manager build. Dual graphics card build, which is pretty high, so this will be a fun one to build. Another big build, but nothing major. Well, good news is there's no liquid cooling. Bad news is everybody has very particular preferences to what they want. I don't see this as a problem. Not really. Okay, so Seagate components are meant to be the bomb. I don't know where you heard that, bro, but whatever. His budget is 2000 And Football Manager doesn't take a lot, especially at the minimum spec. But, shit, it runs on this piece of crap. So, uh, we can build it however we want, as long as it's under 2000 All right, so let's go ahead and do um, this guy, which is minus 170. Uh, he wants Seagate, so we'll buy a, a solid state, and we will buy a mechanical drive motherboard. Boom. Minus 155. Memory is 4,000. My, we bought two of them, so minus 540. Storage. He's going to need... You know what? We'll put something good in. He's, he's got some money some money to burn. 130 for the 4 terabyte. Though, you know what? I'm going to take one of those memories out. Boom. Uh, because it's not as much of a budget as I thought. So we got this. Oh wait, wait, wait. We we have the one mechanical drive, and then we'll just literally buy one of these for one ten. Boom, minus one. Oops, minus one ten. Power supply. Boom. And you know what? I want to work with it. About 180, right? So boom, minus 180. And we have 875 for the graphics card. So let's do that. 8, 30, 40, 870. Uh, yeah, there's a founders right there. Bam, we're done. One down, one to go. Um, he wants Intel. He wants two GPUs. His budget is four, is an apocalyptic 4,000. Not really apocalyptic, but it's beastly 4,000. 
Uh, and he really needs that high performance. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go with the i9. One of the i9s. I'm not sure which one. Probably the cheapest one. I thought there was cheaper than this. Could have sworn... Oh, there's an i7. Okay, yeah. We'll go with an i7. Boom. Minus 256. Or 265. Because going with the biggest one is nice and all, but I want to see if we can max out, like, everything that can be maxed out. So, yeah. As far as max, per, you know, base performance. Minus 10 bucks. Motherboards. We need a 2066. And we're not going to go for the... Th I'm not going to probably go for this, but we'll see. Minus 300. Actually, I will. I want to see that thing ripped as fuck as much as I can. I want it hardcore. So that's 1,280. Minus 1,280. Uh, storage. We'll still go with the usual suspect. Boom. Minus 110. Power supply. Looking at how much we have. No, we'll just go with the 100. 1,300. It's too much money for what you get out of it. And then... Did I actually add one? Yes, I did. And then the case, we'll go with the other, the same one we got for this guy. Ooh, minus 180. Which gives us $1,755. Uh, $1, so... If eight hundred dollars is eight fifty and eight fifty would be seventeen hundred. So graphics card wise, we can go for anything in the eight hundred fifty dollar range, and plus a little more. So like eight seventy would probably be okay. I'd have to do the math, but even those would be okay. So we can go big. Eight forty, maybe eight seventy. These are tough choices. Well, 870, 870 would be... Let me see here. Is there any other 870? Oh, there's these two of these. Yeah, it'll work. We'll go with two of these. That rig is going to be a fucking beast. All right, so next rig. Um, I'm actually looking for new builds, and I would like to get it at 4487 if possible benchmarks. Like shiny new components, can you make this know your number one priority, please? So this guy doesn't care how we build it. So let's go into processors. Um, we'll just go with this guy. So if it's 2000, that's minus 170. Cooling is minus 10. Minus 155 for the motherboard when we get there. Though we might need to start thinking of another motherboard. We actually have a different one here. Oh, the ramp speed's way too low, though. Yeah, no, no. I think this is what we were using before. Keep using that, though. Memory is 4,000, so boom. With a $2,000 budget, we're just going to put one of those in there. Storage, 110 is fine. Minus 110. Power supply. Minus 100. So you can see I'm doing these a little differently, mainly for posterity. 
and experimenting with different sets. But really, we could just have built the computer from last time. But I, I do want to see what we can kind of get away with. We have 850 on the nose to spend on a video card. They don't go to 850, so we'll just go with a 840 right here. Bam. And really, where are those two founders? One, two, one, two. I just rather go with two of those to be fair with you guys. It's, it seems like a better deal. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> can you build me a new PC? I want to make sure my rig is as fast as it can be. Can you get it to benchmark at least 4291? So can you do it in three days? MSI components are meant to be the bomb. Don't try to pass off any used parts. We accept MSI. How much is the budget? Two thousand. Yeah, two thousand. So, uh, let's subtract a hundred for the case, and obviously we got to go with an MSI processor. We can go with everything that we built for the last rig, pretty much. So let's do that. Let's go with. 10 for the heat sink 170 for the processor so that's good that's good we need another one of these for so minus 155 uh one of these so that's minus 270 a patriot scorch will be enough so minus 110 take that power supply which is a hundred bucks um, we got a case and we need to do a video card so at this point what do we have power supply storage memory motherboard cooling and processor so all that's left is the graphics card and we have what looks to be a thousand eighty five dollars to spend <laughs> But it has to be MSI. And you'll notice there's no MSI down here. Almost at all. In the highest tier. The highest tier one is this guy right here for 830. So boom, add that to cart. We still have 255 left. And we'll just probably leave it at that, I guess. I feel like I'm missing something. Power supply. We got the pat. We got the storage. We did the memory. We did the motherboard. We did the cooling. We did the processor. We already had a case. Okay. That's all in there. Somehow, that ended up being the cheapest one. Oh, because the case is 80 bucks cheaper. That's why. Okay. So, everything is absurdly in here, including the repair work stuff. So, let's go ahead and buy now. Almost 10 grand worth of parts. Just in parts. And why do I only see three of those? Well, okay, wait a minute. I could have sworn we put the MSI tower in there. But it's not in there. So we need to get this here, too. And that should really be the first one we work on. Who's the MSI guy? Uh, Mighty Dog... I want to kind of do his first because the repairs will be really easy. <clears throat> Since this takes a little bit to get set up, it'll be good to go once we're ready. This guy. And then processor.
go ahead and put 3d mark advanced now he needed a performance right well let's see how it does just as is with the ram getting a kick i think it'll be fine Run it. Okay, we can actually put that on while it's plugged in. That's good. It's one less thing I have to dick around with. I think we checked for this already, but whatever. Run. scan and then 3d mark <laughs> and we'll be good here hmm Oh, I see a problem. That's broken. You know what? I feel bad. They're poor. We'll give him something used. <laughs> Here, you can have this. Let's see what it says, though. Um, because it has to be actually better than what they have. We have so many of those. Throw it in there. That's something else is wrong. Oh, this fan back here is bad, too. There's a couple things wrong with this guy. What was that, 120 diameter? Here, I have a big one. This gets rid of some of this stuff. Okay. I don't want to go back through it. It's a library. They can't afford it. At least we can do is... Hey, here's a really cheap part. It'll do the job. We already ran a virus scan. Okay, you are done. We'll see how much I like this case because I got a whole bunch of them. Oh, I grabbed another case. All right, and then this one is Barlow and Murray. Barlow and Murley. And Murray. Okay, so we work backwards, and that should cover everything here. Okay, so that's a little weird, but it's not as bad as some other stuff. you got to open the side panel to put it in. You just can't put it in through the back, um, which is fine. I thought we bought one of those big $400 ones. I guess we didn't. I'm losing my mind. Vigicard. card. One. Uh, 
It looks like we had to connect some extra fans back up. Put some fans back up. It's not bad, though. It's a big case. It's very spacious. I still kind of like it. It's just... It's got a, a bit of a kink to it. You got to get used to it. You got to get used to how you have to set it up. And it's still not bad. It's pretty expensive, though. So if we have the money to get it, I like it because I can see through it. As trivial as many people would think that is. That's actually... Kind of nice when you're doing repair work. So we know we got to take the back panel off. But see, here's the other thing, though. When you take the back panel off, you have access to everything you would hook up to it. Right? Now, wait a minute. Didn't somebody want like Seagate? Who was it that liked Seagate? You're good. You don't care. So it's the first guy? Yeah, it's the first guy. Run it. This is the big one. We have RAM for all of this whole rig. All right, you done, done? Yeah. Get all this memory in here. Wimpiest freaking thing. Now this one's getting two of those radions. We still have 185 bucks remaining. Because I just realized I think I forgot to put memory the storage on. No! I gotta take these back out. One thing, though, is it doesn't have the uh, PCI Express locks on them and stuff. So that's interesting. Let's get this going. Let's get this one finished. And when I say going, I just want to get it kind of started. By getting the motherboard in and we're going to open all the slots and then we'll get the other one started up and working okay this one's done set the beefiest fucking memory ever boom well beefy as far as speed goes if those are each of those are eight gig it's got 64 gigs of memory in it, running at its best possible speed. That's going to be pretty, that's got to be nuts, you know? <clears throat> so I don't forget. Let me get away with a little bit more. It might rip blue screen, but we'll see. It's right on the right on the zenith there, right on the pinnacle, right on the peak of probably being too big, too much upgrade there.
You know what I just realized? I screwed up. And I know why I screwed up, because I forgot to plug in the, uh... Hold on. Oh, those are all done. Okay, for some reason, those are all hooked up. That's weird. It's just that one wasn't, for some reason. I want to make sure it boots to the right hard drive. I didn't check it. It is. So that meets everything it needs, and it's five bucks left over. We gotta rerun this guy because I totally missed this. So we gotta. Ch I gotta check these fans before we run stuff. So these guys, I guess, this one here must have... we Oh, we did check it in the beginning, didn't we? So there was only the three. And then all of that. Okay. Okay. All right. So this will be a completely cleaned off screen by the time we're done. Hopefully we did it right. He got a Seagate. He's got Intel. He doesn't care. And he's got his MSI. So And they don't talk about cabling or anything. The only one I'm worried about is maybe the library one because I put a bunch of used parts in it, but it doesn't hurt to check it out. And we got two p we got a b broken PC coming on the next day here, and we have plenty of parts I think to repair it between motherboard. Well, we have a motherboard but that doesn't fit the processor, but if that's bad motherboard, we'll have to buy one. You know, we'll figure it out. But hopefully, it's just something simple like a bad fan or RAM stick or something. So I think Super would be nice. I like how it says the shiny. The shiny. But we are going to level just from turning two of the one or two of these uh, missions in. So I figure you guys have sat through it. We'll see how it plays out. We at some point do need to think about building another rig though. But we got... Well, no, I, was, I said earlier I was going to hoard parts for a little while I think is what I was going to do. 14,072. And to think, here's what you need to really think about. This isn't the strongest processor combo we've got. There's stronger processors out there. We have stronger video cards too now. So there's a lot of really, really powerful, powerful stuff out there that we have. So look at that. Three, six computers. So yeah, with all the powerful hardware and that's that we still haven't we still haven't made like the strongest possible rig. We've made a lot of strong ones, but definitely not the strongest possible. Nice. And look at that. It's like a eighth of a level right there. So new, those are the new parts, and we leveled Ryzen Second Gen Threadripper, forty six hundred gigahertz megahertz RAM. Uh, megahertz RAM, gigahertz would be insane. Um, looks like fans, maybe. Don't know what that is. There's your Threadripper. We get one Second Gen Threadripper. Huh. Uh, Gigabyte X ninety nine Aurorus Gaming Nine, so the motherboard probably for it. Um, some XPGC one forty six hundred RAM. And a pattern cable pack. Nice. And the next milestone is level 29, and it unlocks Intel Basin Falls Skylake X processor. So some new processors, I guess. And then 4,700 megahertz RAM. All right. So look at that. Another day finished where we powered through it, and we made a lot of money. We're in the $75,000 uh, range. We spend about 10 so we're making bank. We're we're doing we're doing good job here. You know, we've only been in business for how many months? You know, it's hard to say. I don't even think it shows when we started per se. It just shows like when we started getting the PC based stuff. Well no, it shows the pay bills. So I don't know, but if we count the green here. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. So we're seven months in and we've got about 75 grand. And we're not even working eight hour days. <laughs> this goes to show you being a repairman, you make a lot of money. If you know how to do it and run your business really well. That's the key, that's the key point. All right, look at that. And then there's this. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. When we come back, we're going to build and re or repair this uh, PC that came in. And we've got uh, to see what new uh, projects we got to work on. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash jacktartstudios for more live gaming action. It's also a great place to support not just this channel, but that channel too. Uh, all the, there's a whole bunch of ways you can support the channel from donation. There's going to be donations in the link. You can go and subscribe to the Twitch channel. All of those things help the channel grow uh, amongst other things that are also out there. So yeah, check out our tabletop show on our Twitch channel. Uh, they call the chairman of the board show Tuesday nights at seven 30 Pacific standard time. Sometimes we don't start right at seven 30, sometimes like seven 45 ish or somewhere around there, but it's usually seven 30. And then also check out the uh, the Hobo Head Crab Blind Plays, where he and I, he blind plays through something, and I'm there kind of helping him as he gets stuck. If he gets so stuck or, like, on something that he can't win, and he's tried, like, four or five times and he keeps screwing it up, then I usually just say, this is what you're supposed to do. And then he goes in and he fixes it up. Um, and, yeah, and he, his reactions are legit. The dude's in his mid-20s playing stuff that he never got to grow up with and understand why it was a classic and he's played earthbound chrono he's playing he's played chrono trigger earthbound uh grandia 2 and his reactions are legitly like wow they don't make good games like this anymore and i'm like they still do they're just hard to find and it's really a style of game design that hasn't been around for a while and he's like yeah it's kind of wish they'd go back to this this is kind of cool so his reactions are legit great to watch um, so definitely check that out. That's on Thursday nights at 7.30-ish. Sometimes we start as late as 8 Pacific Standard Time. Um, and once in a while, we try to squeeze one in on a Friday when we can. So anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll see you guys next time.